Hello everyone and welcome to a wonderful day of StarCraft 2 Hardest Farm brought to you by Ascended. This time we are going to have a gold level matchup for you on Kalantis Meyer. I don't remember that name. I remember this map because it's got this narrow choke point right here in the middle, which people always like to supply depot off so that force your opponent to go all the way down and around. But nevertheless, we'll see how it goes. So in the upper left-hand corner, we're going to have Lava Foxes as our Red Zerg player. Upper right-hand corner from Clan Knock G, it's going to be best, the Blue Protoss. So ZVP, one of the more rare matchups that we see on my channel, which is a good thing that we're getting one then. Um, and like I said, go level. So right in the middle, let's see how they do. APMs, 147 to 233. It's interesting. I cast a diamond level game earlier today, and neither player was in the triple digits. Cast a gold, both are. Well, we'll, we'll watch them a little bit and see how, if it's any key spamming or some legit usage. You never know. I've seen both ways. So, I, I would have loved to see... One trick I like to do, and you guys could try it back uh, whenever you play. Especially in the lower levels, it's funny as hell to do. Take two drones early, if, if this is only a two spawning location, and do it like almost at the start of the game. And take two and automatically put them on both extractors. Because Protoss, other than Zealots, cannot make a freaking thing without gas. So they're going to have to get a Zealot. They, they can start the Cyber Core, but they can't do anything about it because you got two extractors. It is a nuisance for Protoss. Absolute nuisance. Now it's going to force zealots out, so you got to make sure you hard counter zealots. But it's fun. It, it won't work all the time, but when it does, it, it does, it's not really worth it if you only get one. You either get both or don't bother. But man, if you can pull that off, it, they are they get so pissed. But man, it's worth it. Okay, and there's destructible debris down here. So there's always two exits. You got to watch it. Eventually, he's going to have to. Best is going to have to put a pylon right there. And Lava Fox is going to have to put an Overlord right over here as well, just to keep themselves safe. No gas yet. Makes me think that Lava Fox may go for a quick third. We'll see. Meanwhile, we do have what appears to be a full wall in from Best. And I'm okay with that, only because it is the destructible debris. He'll be able to continue to expand downwards, if he so chooses, and still keeps him safe for the time being. And it's it's a smart move. I don't like full wall ins if you're if that's your only door, but this isn't his only door. So that's perfect. It's gonna keep him from being scouted, other than from the air, so if he keeps a couple stalkers over here, he should be fine. But we'll see. Right now, obviously Lava Fox has one overlord sitting over the natural, so that's why I feel reasonably like that Lava Fox is gonna take a third. I mean, that's, that's a logical course of action. It doesn't necessarily mean that's what's going to happen. But, you know, that Overlord's getting out of here. Cybercore going down. Yep. There it goes. Couple things going to go in for the scout. I'm going to realize they can't get in. Probably going to go over here and check that out. We'll see. So, if anybody has any replays they want to see cast, feel free to send them to ascendednationreplays at gmail.com. One link did die there. We have a couple idle... Oh, no. Best. You need to rally your workers. They're starting to surround your nexus. There we go. You got it. All right. Worker counts even at 26 apiece. Army supplies are negligible. Overlords are moving out around the map. I like that. I like the links in front of the doorway. I like the overlord by the back door. It's good. I'd like to see one over here at least. One for this base area, and one to eventually suicide in. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking about. Okay, third base is going down. Woohoo! Nice job, Lava Fox. And Robotics Bay. All right. Not really sure how either of these guys are going to play. Oh, working down the rocks with the Photon Cannon. But, um, what else was I going to tell you? Um, this is my fourth cast today. I am going to tell you that in one of my other three casts today, I did do a mystery question or a mystery word, and I did announce it pretty early in the game. So if you're interested in trying to win options one, two, or three, 
go find it and then find it. I'll tell you it's a question, so. And then find the answer or know the answer. Either one. And goodbye, Obi. All right, so he's dead. Third base about to go up. He should be spamming a crap ton of drones right about now. Let's see, how many larvas you got? 13, absolutely, 13 drones. Oh, he was supply blocked. That's why he didn't do it. Observer? Okay, that makes sense. Kind of need to see what's going on. So this base not quite mining yet. He's got to get a couple more overlords out. He's actually not making any. He's going to be supply blocked for a little bit here. Overlords are what, 30 seconds? Well, as soon as one starts, I'm going to look. I'm getting cuckooed about it. But why? Okay, there they go. 25 seconds. Okay, it's not horrendous, but it costs him 25 seconds. He can't produce anything right now. Now he can get two more drones if he wants. We'll see what he does. Ling speed's on the way. Void ray's on the way from this one star port. What's going back here? Three gateways? Okay. He's trying to hide his tech. I guess he wants to really main up with uh, gateway units. That's the only reason you'd stick this all the way out here and then stick these all the way back here. Overlord maybe makes it only to this point and he's going to spot the Stargate. And, you know, a million spores will go down. So it's a, it'd be a good thing to force out of your opponent. Spire going down actually... Hmm. Well, Phoenix would certainly be a thing. Void Rays are not very good against Phoenix. I don't know how to emphasize that to you guys. Okay, I said that wrong. Void Rays are suck against Mutas. Okay, I thought I said Phoenix. But, he's actually going to unpower some things, I think, when he does this. But, Phoenix, obviously, just, if you have any micro ability at all, Phoenix just tear apart Mutas. It is the most beautiful thing. It's like artwork. They just shred them to bits, and you can do it without losing a single one. Just micro, micro, micro. It is great. Sentry Void Ray. Okay. It's good if you get Guardian Shield and can protect the Void Rays. It does change things. So we'll see if that ends up being a factor. Up to three bases now, plus nine on the worker count here for Lava Fox. I'm looking for upgrades, and I'm not seeing them. Okay, we do have plus one here at the best. Obviously, warp gates and link speed is complete as well. But nobody is working on it anymore. We do got 11 mutas on the way, but God, did he. Where's that observer? There it is. Oh, God, dude. Seriously. That way. Oh, my God. He needs to see this. Without seeing this, he's not going to have. I don't think he's going to be ready to react. I mean, sure, he's going to warp in stalkers like instantly. But there's going to be a decent amount of mutas, and they could just go in here and cut and do some damage. Warp gates are coming online. There's going to be five of them. It's chronoing out that. But remember, there's only one pylon taking care of all of this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Man, he's about to give away that he's got mutas, though. I don't know if I'd want to do that. Yep. Yep, you just gave away you got mutas. So now that you know that, what's the reaction from best? That is what I want to know. What is the reaction? You know there's mutas on the field now. And the number is just going to continue to climb. Still got Void Ray, still got Sentry. Mutas are actually hanging out by the front door. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, he needs, he wants to get that pylon. Trying to keep the army out of position. This Colossus is in danger, that's for sure. I'm watching that, trust me, I'm watching that, but I'm also looking to see what else is going on here. Right, let's come back over here. Uh, Production-wise, we do have Phoenix on the way, so he is reacting correctly with Phoenix. Nice shot there by Best. Really needs another pylon or two over here, so keep that in mind, Best. Uh, do not, you don't want to rely on just one pylon for all this tech. That's a lot of tech to lose for 100 minerals. Drop two more down, it's worth it. Fourth base going down over here, like I said. Couple overlords kind of paired up, spreading around the map. Uh, six more drones, plus one air for the mutas is coming. 21 mutas in all. He's scouting around for a ninja base, there are none. Best is legitimately on two bases. Definitely needs a third. But there we go, now you got a couple of Phoenix. And the more Phoenix he can get, the better off he's going to be. But it does look like he might be moving out. And right now he does have the superior army size. 
pretty much everything can shoot the air. It's just a matter of what these if these Phoenix move way out of position or not. Mina's coming back. Are they reacting? Alright, we're gonna let's do first person. Does he is he reacting? He's spamming a ton of lings. Not gonna help with the void race. Okay, he sees it. Okay, now this is best view. All right, we, we got to see what everything that's going on here. Here's some of the Mews. Observer spotted that. And the Guardian Shield is really helping out all those units inside. All the Guardian Shields actually got picked off, so now it's pretty much straight on Muta versus Void Ray Stalker. I think the Phoenix went down. No, it was at least two alive. And those Phoenix really made a big difference in that battle. Uh, I feel like maybe they didn't. No kills. One kill. Okay, they made no difference in that battle. I'm really shocked. Maybe they just softened them up. But these two Evo Chambers and this base are in trouble. The Zealots over here managed to take out this base, so he's going to get a two-for-one deal here. A lot of mutas getting hit in a major crossfire. Oh my god, and this War Prism just reinforcing with additional Stalkers. Oh, Jesus. Trying to get it. He got it. There won't be any more reinforcements. But can he stay alive now is the question. Um, he's got to kill that base. Leave two zealots or something. you got to kill that hatch. And that spire, really. And there you go. Lava Fox has left the game. Look at that. Fire this way. Fire this way. Fire this way. Shit's dying. Anyway, good game. Well done there by best. Lava Fox, you know, I like the expanding. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. But hey, these things happen. And good creep spread. I like the mute idea. I didn't like the whole going in with three and kind of queuing them off. And then that automatically triggered the uh, Viking tech. Eh, I don't know. But anyway, good game. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you later. Peace out.